All right, everybody, welcome back. As we get ready to start the varsity game here between Hudson and Clinton, Josh Seidel alongside tonight yep. for the triple header. And we've, we've already had two barn burners, pal, so we might as well make it a trifecta tonight, huh? Yeah. And we've talked about it before. It's always a tough one when you play Hudson, so I would Doesn't imagine. the sport. Correct. And I'd imagine this one's going to be no different. Yeah. As we're getting ready, full house. Actually, I think, I'm not going to lie to you, looking around the gym, I think we have more people here tonight than we did for the Neshoba game really? to open the season. Now, granted, that was a Tuesday night. Yeah. But that whole side where the Gales bench is was fairly empty for the for the Neshoba game. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I think more people enjoy coming to a Clinton versus Hudson game than a Clinton versus Neshoba well, game. You might be right there. You might be right. I guess we'll find out. As uh, we're about ready to turn it over to the other voice of the Gales, Tom Callinan. Welcome to Clinton High School for today's varsity boys basketball matchup. Featuring the visiting Hudson Hawks, led by head coach Mike Nataro, assistant Mike Nataro Jr., Matthew Lindbergh, and Brent Hart. And your 2023 Gallery Gale of Clinton, led by head coach Steve Mancuso, and assistant Bob Monty, Matt Kobus, Ian Gannon, and team manager Max Crowley. Officials for tonight's game are Paul Hutchinson and John Williams. The MIA would like to remind us that the ideal of good sportsmanship, ethical behavior, and a lot of alumni here tonight. All interest in plastic athletics in our community and perception and practice. Good sportsmanship shall be defined as those qualities and behavior which are characterized by generosity and genuine concern for others. Our athletic field should be laboratory to produce good citizens reflecting fair play in every area of life. Now for the starting lineups, beginning with the Hawks. Starting with number two, Mike DiCarlo. <laughs> number ten, Jake Attaway. <laughs> number eleven, Jackson O'Brien. <laughs> number fourteen, Max Persla. Number 
All right. We're getting ready here. Hudson starters. Number two, Mikey DiCarlo. Number 10, Jake Attaway. You must remember him from football. Yep. Great football player, Jake Attaway. Max Person, number 14. Know him from baseball. Uh, is he a baseball Whoa. player? So is DiCarlo. I played uh, AAU baseball with uh, Person and DiCarlo. Yeah, so we know we get some great athletes here for Hudson. Oh, yeah. Bunch of multi-sport athletes on this team. Both teams, actually. Starters for the Gales, Abdiel Zapata, Cam Grady, Davis Lund, Ethan Frisch, and one senior, Owen Bridell. Yeah. Here you Abdiel go. will win the tip. Davis is bring it up over half court. And we are off. Cam over to Abdiel. Hudson starting in man. What's with the kissing of the chin? Any uh, idea? Have you figured that play out Might yet? be a play call. Yeah. Owen for three, though. No good. Had a good look to start. Carlo. Out of way. No good. Rebound. Foul right away. Not, no box out. Who's it going to be on? 15, which would be Fritter. Frishy. So first foul of the game goes to the Gales. Just going to send... Marrera to the line. This is his first. This is his second. Loose ball. Still a loose ball. To Carlo up top. Swings it over to Person. Down low. Good. That's number 11, Jackson O'Brien. Sticks with the fadeaway. Cutting the ice. Up to Cam Grady up top. Stolen. Jake Attaway. Right no good on that layup. Ethan Frisch there for the rebound. Great defensive effort from Attaway. Yeah, just simply ripped it away. Yep. Davis, that'll be a foul. Draws it. I believe it's on number 24. Yeah, just uh, Nice take by Davis. The C kind of parted there, and he just took off. The Red Sea parted. Ah, oh, you like that one? Mm. He was able to take it to the line, draw contact at the foul. Davis, first points of the night for the Gales. This is his second though. Gales staying in zone. Nah, uh, yep. They're on that 2-3 zone. Yeah, but they get footer in the middle. It's kind of interesting. Yep. Abdiel right there to contest. There to contest again, but this time, not good enough. That'll be Jackson O'Brien, another two points for him. Yeah, good, tough rebound underneath, and then had the body control to get it up over. Cam Grady pushing the floor, going in. Ball's knocked loose, it'll be Hawks ball. Gale's gonna come out and pressure now. Good pressure from Cam Grady there. Frishy right there though. Davis going into the hoop. No good on that way. Frishy gets the rebound though. Whoop. Frishy right there. I think Ethan kind of thought he was closer to the rim than he was when he went back up there. Yep. Carlos swings it over. Person. Person for three. No good. DiCarlo for three. No good. O'Brien for two, and he's good. Couple of offensive rebounds for Hudson. Gale's got to do a better job of get on a body and yep. find a man. Got to gotta gain possession of the boards. I think that's why Fritter started here, too. Yep. 
Owen driving in, gets a hard two points. I'll say. Doesn't get much harder than that. Defenders all over him. Abdiel with the steal. Oh, little spin. Yeah. Look at that bucket. Yeah, good, good control. That was all him. Yep. Getting great yeah, pass. Person swings it up to O'Brien. Down low, Morrell. And he's good. Now no one got back on the press. Abdiel was just a little too late. Hudson staying, nope, they're going man. Owen with the ball. Cam going the baseline, yellow step. Oh, no good, gets his own rebound though. Davis and Abdiel right there to recover the miss. Plenty of time, shot clock resets. Abdiel top of the key, takes a three. Bang, Abdiel! Big three, ties the game. Yep. Nice active defense from the Gales. Owen Brydell there to poke the ball for you. Still stays Hudson Ball. Oh wait, no, they're calling it Clinton Ball. Look at the bench all fired up over there. Yeah. Huh? I believe Hudson just went with a new player in the game. I believe that is number 30, Caleb Luz. Another great athlete for Hudson High School, football player. I remember that name from football, yeah. Also checking in Matty Dimes, speaking of football. Oh yeah. The man himself. It's gonna go Hudson Ball, Mikey DiCarlo all over Cam Grady there. Yeah, he, a little too much dribbling. He didn't really have much to go with. Oh, it was good defense and dribbled it off his leg. Kick it out to O'Brien. O'Brien goes to Attaway. Attaway driving the floor. Abdiel right there to defend. O'Brien on the putback. Wow. I have O'Brien in for eight. I think all of the eight of his points have been second chance opportunities. That sounds about right, boss. Nice ball. Good feed. The give and go. Yep. Cam to Owen. Best play in the book. I always love that. The bounce pass give and go. Oh yeah. Tie ball game De here. Carlo O'Brien woos at the top. De Carlo trying to get a pass off. Gets it to Attaway. O'Brien in the corner. He's going right to the hoop. Now Luz is gonna take a three. And he's gonna miss. It'll be Gale's ball. We'll say it was off of Marrera. Davis is going to bring the ball up. No. No. Could have gotten him on the arm on that yep. one. Looked like it, but might have gotten some ball. Huh? Does Davis play soccer? Uh, I didn't think so, no. I thought he ran cross country in the fall. That was a little, that was a nice little kick save there. Get him in the World Cup. Matt. USA Carlo. could use him. <laughs> Attaway to Carlo. To lose. To Carlo again. They're going to give it to Marrera. Good defense from the Gales. Oh, O'Brien right under the hoop. Oh my, he missed it. Wow, one of, one of the few opportunities that O'Brien didn't cash in on. And he was all alone. That was all probably the easiest one he had all night so far. You know, sometimes when you're all alone like that, you get a little anxious. Davis, Davis for three. That is a huge bucket, puts the Gales ahead by three. Minute 30 left to go in this first quarter. To Carlo. Gale still staying in, in zone. Yep, Blues down low, Marrera, he's gonna get another bucket. Uh, nice, nice high low play there by Hudson. Yep. Taking Marrera's height to advantage. He's a tall guy. Cam Grady. 
Looking for something to open up. He's got Matty Dimes out there on the wing. Davis in the corner, back to Matty Dimes. Calling out a play. They're moving the ball around. Now they've had a couple of cuts here. Damn Grady for three. No good. Back rim. Jake Attaway on that rebound. To Carlo. Attaway setting the screen. Got to watch, watch under. They got two guys under. Yep. O'Brien's trying to sneak his way through the baseline. He's coming right around on that corner. They're going to get it to Marrero. Instead, he cashes in another two. That uh, was a little too easy. Yep. Quick pass down to the low block. A little spin move post. Davis guarded by Attaway. To Carlo guarding Grady. Abdel for three. No good this time. Oh, Cam with the rebound. Oh, it was too bad. That was a great play by Cam yep. Grady. Oh, oh, and oh, we anticipated that pass. They're going to call Grady out. A good hustle play. Yeah, great hustle play. We'll give him a Tommy point on that one. For a second on that rebound by Grady, I thought he was going to dunk it. He was up so high. Really? I thought maybe the tip drill anyway. Two. Short. No good. Well, exciting first quarter. A very exciting first quarter of action. 14-3, our score. Hudson leads by one at the end of the first. For Hudson, it's been all O'Brien and Marrera. Yeah, once, once again, right? Two players. Yeah, 14 points for Hudson, coming from Jackson O'Brien with eight. Ryan Marrero with six. There's your 14. And for the Gales, I've got, anyway, Owen Brydell with four. Yep. Abdiel with five. And Davis with four. Yep. Including the big three there. That big three to put them ahead for only a short matter of time, though, until uh, O'Brien and Marrera slowly started aching away at damage. No, this 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 could be another... Uh, oh, yeah. Another <laughs> barn burner, pal. It's looking like it's coming out to be another barn burner. That's all right. We'll take it. Yeah. What else do we get to do Exciting. on a Friday night? Well, well, maybe you. You're still young and go out. And could be in dominoes right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you still could. Probably playing we, Call of Duty or something. Oh, we could probably have it delivered and get it here for halftime. What do you think? I don't mean, tempt you? <laughs> yeah, don't tempt me. I'll get on the phone right now and order steak and cheese pizza. All right, there you go. We'll split it. Uh, we got a game first, pal. <laughs> Look out. O'Brien. Way out there to lose across court. They might think Who's it's still going in season, huh? It's looking like it. Abdiel. Davis bringing it up. Passes over to Matty Dimes for three. Boom. Oh, good. Back rim. Owen there to get the rebound, though. Back to Matty Dimes. There's no one near him. Yeah, really? I think he might pull another shot, but no. He's going to let the play develop. Owen's going to go with the up fake. O'Brien, he gets him. Ooh. Oh, that looked like it hurt. Lose is down. He's still down. He caught an elbow to the face, head uh, the ground. I think he hit his head on the, yeah. on the floor. He's a football player, though. He's tough. He got right up. Do we see the replay? Who's he calling the foul on? 11? As Owen took it right to the hole. And it's going to be on O'Brien. Ryan's first. Only the second team foul here. Bridell, good for the first one at the line. Tie game. Hudson crowd going with the old alphabet. Flashes in for two, doesn't pay off. I guess I guess we know they know their curriculum over there. Yeah. <laughs> Matty Dimes playing on the defensive end. He's doing great. They're going to call a timeout. Quick timeout for Hudson. Matty Dimes is all over that press right there. And he almost got a turnover. Yeah. But that calls, uh, I got Coach Nataro use up his first timeout. The Gales have taken a quick 15-14 lead here after the start of the second quarter. We'll take a look at the cheerleaders. Wow. Our national champion cheerleaders. Yeah. Right? Multiple years. Yeah, there it is right there. Yeah, they've got a couple. 
2019, 2022. Oh, I remember the 2019 one. The 2019 one was great. Oh. When they had Brian Carmona. Oh. Doing his backflips all oh over the place. Oh my gosh. Kid would do backflips off the wall. <laughs> Yeah, still, he was, I'm still convinced that he's not human. Was it? Was he a baseball player? Too? Yeah, he was an amazing baseball That's player. That's right. That's right. I remember. He'd end, whenever we'd end an inning in the field, he'd do a backflip to send us into the dugout. Of course he did. Of course he, he did. He was just a freak athlete. He was an amazing athlete. First year playing football, and he was amazing. Yeah, it seemed like it. All right, as we come back out of the timeout here, Hudson's got the ball. They're going to be inbounding from about three-quarter court. See, Troy Ween has checked in for yep. the Gales. DeCarlo is going to bring it up over half. They're staying in. Do they switch over? No, they're still in that zone. Yeah. Lose wide open Abdiel right there, but two guys down low. What else can you do? Yeah, they spread the floor, and they're able to get that easy bucket. Yep. That'll be... Loses first points of the game as well, as well as the foul coming from also lose. Yeah. So I believe that'll be his first foul as well. Owen back at the line. Missed the first. Makes the second foul. I've got Owen for seven. Yep, I do as well. So it's official. Sitting comfortably. DeCarlo setting up the play. Lose. Finding O'Brien in the corner for three. No good. Davis on the rebound. Right there. Right place. Right time. Moving the floor down low. Loses the ball. DeCarlo. O'Brien. Oh. Can't tell if that was a blocker or if he just missed the ball. Well, that surprise didn't call goaltending. I know. To be perfectly honest. The way he hit the way, backboard. Great defensive play from Abdiel. Now that's there an even again. better defensive there play. There he is again. Stayed on his ground, stayed on his feet, and just con contested the ball and forced him to make a bad Put a shot. Lot. Put a lot of pressure on O'Brien. Troy Wheat for three. Oh my God. Troy Ween gets into the act. Troy Ween has officially checked in, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. Great defense by Abdiel once again. Davis not, can't hit on the floater. Oh, Owen with a big block. Abdiel right there with the rebound. I hope we got given out to Davis. Got Troy again. Troy's in the corner again. He's going to fire quick. Can't hit a second one though. Almost. He had it. He wanted it. Oh yeah. You could tell he was getting antsy over there in that corner. He's like, give me the ball. The crowd was gonna erupt if he hit that one. Oh yeah. We might have gotten a court storm old fashioned. Maybe an earthquake in Clinton. I don't know. <laughs> Lose. Down low. Can't hit. Davis one of the four again. How's it going, man? Davis calling out a play. Abdiel swinging down no, low. No, giving it up no. to Troy. It's going to be on the floor. It's going to be blocking, I believe. Yeah. Let's go back and take a look at Owen's, Owen's block, which was just incredible. Hustle effort right there from behind. Oh, yeah. He had Owen and Abdiel running, the, running back on the floor. Ready to make a big defensive stop. Owen gets there first. Abdiel is there to finish it off, get the rebound. Timeout here. Yeah, second timeout here called by Hudson. Yep. Oh, the cheerleaders. Cheerleaders are going wild tonight. Seniors, Sophie Allen, Brianna Burgos. 
and freshman, I believe, right? Grace yes. Alvarado. I do believe she is a freshman. I don't remember Co her being a freshman. Co honestly. Coach's coach's daughter. <laughs> Mom coaches at the middle school next door. Yeah. So we got a three-point lead here, 4.45 left to go in the second quarter. Yep. Looks like the crowds are really getting into it with each other. No, I'm not surprised. <laughs> uh, do we want to talk about football? Oh, wow. Davis, Davis won for three. That was a good, uh, good draw up play off the inbounds. Oh, boy. Oh, thought we were going to see a repeat. But no, that's number three. He's checking in for the first time. Kyle Arias. Yep. Nice body control for the E2. Kicks it out to Davis. That's Axel Ramos checking in for the first time. Yep. He's wide open on the corner. He's going to take a three. He's going to hit a three. Sweet child of mine, Axel Ramos. Axel Ramos getting in on all the action. Oh, he's out of mind. First amount of bounds. That's a great defensive effort from Axel Ramos. Hits a three automatically playing defense. Taking a look right there. Checks in and hits. Yeah, someone's got to move again. Watch. Yep. Quick passes. Show it, Owen. Owen, that deal right there with the rebound, though. They're going to call a jump. It's going to stake Yale's ball. Yeah. Shot clock resets. Not sure what this conversation is all about. I'm not quite sure. Oh, shot clock. Yep. All right. A couple of seconds. 28 did, seconds. Yeah, a couple of seconds did go off the shot clock. Right out to Davis. Troy's wide open on that wing over there. They're going to give it to Owen down low. Back to Davis for three. Bang! Davis again for three. That's his second one this half. They're going to call a foul. I don't know how you can call a foul over there. Ah. It's going to be on um, Abdiel. Is it? His first. So Abdiel's first. And Clinton's been doing a good job with fouls. They only have two in one half of game. Almost one half a game completely played. Oh, that's the benefit of playing zone, too. Yeah. O'Brien swinging it way out. Three, no good. O'Brien again, no good, down low, that's loose. But well, again, another off. Well, we're gonna get, we're gonna get offensive. 30, offensive that's foul. a lose again. That'll be his second one. Another offensive foul, that's interesting. Davis, for three again, wow. wow. Davis shot. Davis Davis. is catching hot. He oh, out with he the just a steal. Davis for three again. Can he hit it again? No, Axel right there with the rebound. No, that's a foul. He's shooting two. I believe that's on number 14, Max Person as well. Yeah, Davis though it picked him up, but Axel just out jumped everybody. Yep. And then got whacked. And should be on 14, correct? I do believe it was on Max, Max Person. Person. He was the only one in the area. So, 10-point lead for the Gales here. 2.53 left to play in the first half. Axel hits that first shot. We got wholesale changes here for Hudson. Looks like all the starters are back in. This is the second. Herrera on that rebound. DeCarlo O'Brien for two. 
cans it. Yeah, again. It's it's that high low. I, it's, yep. they, they're getting the Gales to extend the zone, and then they're, they're leaving that middle wide open. And Hudson's been able to exploit it a couple of times. Yeah. Thank goodness for all the threes that the Gales have been hitting. Oh yeah. To give themselves a nine point lead here with two and a half left to go in the first half. I know the Gales have hit six threes in this first half. Three by Davis, one by Abdiel, one by number four, Troy Ween. Troy Ween and Axel has also hit a three. Troy came into the game and right away hit an electric three-pointer. Axel, same, same scenario. But Jackson O'Brien's dealing the show so far. Oh yeah. 10 points for Hudson. And again, we've got 235 left to go. All 10 points inside the paint. You're right, yes. All been, and a lot of them off of second, yep. second chance points, like you were saying earlier. But again, it just shows that the Gales have got that zone too far extended. Yeah, they're giving them too much leeway. Axel with the ball, kicks it over to Abdiel. Abdiel top of the key, back to Abdiel. Uh, Hudson's in man now. Yep. Troy's gonna get it. Over to Axel. Axel going up for a layup and he gets it. Nice use of the baseline. Out of way. Good feed. No good from Moreno though. Axel Ramos will take possession of the ball. They're gonna run the floor. Davis running up the court. Third man, Davis will take another three. And he wanted to bring the house down with yeah, that transition did. three. I bet you it would have, too. DeCaro. DeCaro again trying to set up the offense. Attaway. That's going to be on. Should be on Davis. Davis. Yeah. It's only his first. Again, Gale's not in any type of way like close to foul trouble at all. Yeah, only three fouls. Only three fouls through one half. It looks like their zone continues to work well. They just gotta tighten it up a little bit. Some of these possessions are giving the Hawks a little too much leeway. Attaway kicks it out. O'Brien down low, Marrera. That's another two for him. He's got eight now. Yeah, defense committed to uh, O'Brien. He's able to dish it out. Give and go. No, no good. No call there. No call. O'Brien for two. Davis bringing it up. Attaway bringing pressure right up top. Over to Abdiel, Axel. Back to Abdiel, he's gonna drive in. Take a floater, no good. 30 seconds left in the first half. Looks like they're gonna hold for the last shot here. Yep, seven point lead for the Gales at half. Oh, oh, with the block! Attaway went for the corner three and got blocked by Owen. Great rotation from him. Another block. And he was up here on the wing. Came all the way down to the corner. Yep. Just a great defensive rotation, great awareness, great consistency. Ten seconds left in the half. They're going to swing it over to Attaway again. They're going to go down low to Marrera. Marrera's not going to get that tough bucket. There's three, three. seconds left. Oh, wait. Oh, and he missed it at the buzzer. How'd that not fall? I don't know. He was right there. Well, either way, Gales have a seven point lead at halftime, 31 24, which is another exciting yeah. game. Yep. We'll see in 10.
kind of an ambitious play, isn't it? Are you? Why is you're in it?
Welcome back, everybody. We're getting ready to start the second half. Gale's up 31-24 in what is turning out to be a, <laughs> a long day, but, yeah. a, but a fun day so oh, yeah. far. As I think this is the largest lead we've seen today. Total? I mean, it's maybe tied. Yeah. Oh, I, actually, earlier was. If you remember, Gales had a 31-20 lead. Yeah. And then Hudson had a furious rally there. They could yep. have added a couple more, but only got four points out of it to cut it to seven. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, definitely an 11-point lead was yeah. the largest we've seen today. Yeah, everything's been very, very uh, nip and tuck. Yeah. As well, we expected. Yeah, that's what, that's what I was going to say. We expected that exactly, that these games were all going to be close. And again, it's always a close one with Hudson and Quentin. doesn't matter the sport. It's always close. And we got an interesting interesting setup here. We got Axel's going to start the second half here. No Frishy. Here we go. Out away. Out away finds to Carlo, to Person. Person over to Carlo. I would imagine Hudson's going to start finding ways to get it more inside here. Yep. They had a lot of easy. Person luck. goes for a three, gets blocked by Axel. Or maybe not. Wow. Right out of the gate, we're getting defensive plays. And Axel's going to take a three of his own, overshoots it. Oh, that's off. Of that's going to stay. It's going to be off of DeCarlo. Smart play by Cam Grady right there. Yeah, we'll give him a Tommy point as we take a look at the block here by Axel on the replay. Cam swings it to Davis. Davis to Owen to Axel. Axel back to Owen. Oh, that's All over to Cam for three. Boom. Oh. Nope. Abdiel right there with the rebound though. Using some post moves, dishes it down to Cam. Gets foul on the way up on Herrera. That's a blocking foul. Yeah, it was good offensive rebound by Abdiel and then Cam just snuck right underneath. Tried to reverse. But we're gonna get a foul on Marrero, we said, right? Yep, 24, I have him for three. Grady makes his first. And he makes his second. First two points of the game for Cam Grady there. To Carlo bringing it up over half. Swings it to Attaway. Attaway down low to Marrera in the corner to Person. Loses the ball. Axel's right there. Speed kills. Oh, he had a three on one. Tried to do a little too much. Yep. Yeah. Pretty sure that foul will be on Axel, too. No, they're actually calling on Davis, too. They did? Yeah. Splash number two. Got him on the arm. DiCarlo bringing it up, trying to run the play. Herrera down low. He cashes in another bucket. Yeah, and they just had the overload there, and uh, Abdiel was the only defender down low. We're going to keep an eye on that in the second half. Abdiel put out some post moves. Trying to draw a foul on the way up. Can't. Oh, pretty sure I was deflected off the Axel Ramos. Camp Grady able to regain possession of the ball. Gales have it. Swings it over to Owen. Davis. Davis down low to Cam. That's an easy two points for Cam Grady right there. Yeah, the easy cut. No one picked him up. To Carlo bringing it up over half. Trying to set it up again. Again, we got the overload. There it is. Yep. O'Brien down low, hitting for mid ranger. Marrero going to get the. It's yeah. going to be off of Marrero. Gale's ball. Uh, Marrero should have gotten three second call underneath there too. Yep. And it looks like. Young Mike Dutero is not too happy about that call. We got a timeout white. Yep. Excuse me, timeout red. Yep. What do we get on the uh, on the replay? What do we get on the replay. Anything? Grady cut and the finish. Give the Gales this nine point lead.
crowd. I tell yep. you, it's definitely bigger than it was against Oh, yeah. Were you around for that game? Were you here? Did you watch? Um, I don't think I was home. No. No, it was, it was the opening night, which was like December 10th or something. Yeah, like it was, I didn't come home until December 13th. Okay. Did you at least watch it on Greenlight Studios? Of course I did. All right. Thank you. Yeah. This is one of your viewers. Owen finds Axel. Axel driving in, kicks it to the corner. Cam running the baseline, goes up. Ooh. Yeah, gonna get, it's gonna be on the floor. It's gonna be on Mikey. De no, he's got Cam. Oh, he's got for Cam the for the offensive. Kind of give him a shoulder shimmy to get get some space. De Carlo trying to set it up. Gets it over to Attaway. Attaway to Person. Person making an actual jump a little bit. Gets it back to Attaway. Over to De Carlo for three. Back to Attaway for three. Attaway hits a three. His first points of the game. Abdiel loses the ball. And back to Hudson. Oh, Abdiel. Over to Person. No. Well, foul off the play. I mean, Davis is third. What was the call on that one? Uh, he kind of he kind of pushed him as he was uh, going through. Davis will take a seat. Matty Dimes checking into the game. O'Brien misses another layup. So does Marrera. I'm dealing with the rebound. Eddie Dimes with the ball. O'Brien bringing some pressure. Gale's, Backs off. Gail's lucky on that sequence. Yep. Axel over to Abdiel. Abdiel's going to take a three. He's going to miss. They're going to call that on Owen, I believe. They are. His first. Now the fouls are starting to pick up a little yep. bit here. I don't know if it's tired legs. Got or a lead. What? Got a lead, just trying to be even more aggressive, increase that lead. Out of way. That's a good bucket right there. Yeah. Hand on him and everything. Yep. Hudson's cut this now to four. It'll be Hudson Ball again after the Gales turn it over. Miscommunication right there from Matty Dimes and Cam. Uh, it's going to cause Coach Mangusso to use a timeout. It's going to settle everybody down. Now they haven't they haven't looked good here um, starting this second half. They've been outscored seven to four so far. Take a look at the cheerleaders. Yep. I thought Mr. Hilton was going to be the uh, flyer today, no? <laughs> Wasn't Hilton supposed to be the flyer today? No. Crowds are really getting into it right now. I mean, but this is, this is what high school basketball oh, yeah. is all about. You know, as long, as long as they're good about it. Back and forth. Yeah. For the last two minutes of play. But as long as they're appropriate and they're not, uh, not rude, disrespectful. Like you said, this is a rivalry game. Yep. Well, now they got the stop. Well, Davis bringing it up over half. He'll swing it over to Owen. Over to Maddie Dimes. Back to Davis down low. He's in trouble. And it looks like Hudson went back to that zone that they were in in the first quarter. Nope, they're in Owen. Oh. 
got stripped. Oh yeah, many times with the steal. Makes the layup. Had everybody nervous there for a bit. Ah, I wanted to make it interesting. But that was a great play by Matt. Anticipation, be able to get that ball in and go off to the races for two. Yep. Max Person finds Attaway in the corner. Attaway trying to make something out of nothing. That was a good tip by Cam. Yep. Back over to Person. He's running the baseline now. Abdiel, great defensive contest. Attaway for three. He hits that three. Don't save the ball underneath the opponent's hoop. That's like the cardinal sin in basketball. The cardinal sin that Davis Lund just committed. And he dimes. Yells lead by three here. 220 left to play. And he dimes going up for the layup and he gets it. I believe that's gonna be an and one. It is. Matt saw the opportunity. We took it. He's gonna really call that foul on. Should be 24. It is. Marrero. Marrera, which is his fourth. Yep. You gotta expect he's coming out and he is. They're bringing Luz back in. Person will go take a seat. Matty Dimes looking to convert the AM1. He misses on the free throw. Attaway is going to bring the ball up, give it over to DiCarlo. He's going to cross half. O'Brien gets the roll. OB, bang! Owen Brydell, ice cold. That's deep. Ah, loose offensive putback. His second bucket of the night, he's got four. And that's a classic example of why you box out. Yeah. Davis. Back to Matty Dimes. Matty Dimes over to Cam. Cam swings it over to Davis. Attaway able to keep that ball in bounds. They're gonna call that foul. Attaway able to draw it, Cam. No. They're gonna give it on Cam. Yeah, as we take a look, but now. Either way, sending Attaway to the line. He's got eight. Attaway. Hits the second. MDL. Over to Maddie. Maddie to Abdiel. Abdiel to Owen. Owen driving in. Gets the tough bucket to go. No one on that side of the floor for help defense. Owen said, I'll take it. 35 left to play in this third quarter of action. And he dimes this to Ethan Frisch. Frischy. First points of the night, how about it? Freshman to freshman. Off the turnover. Another bad pass. Oh. Abdel lost control of the ball on his uh, way up. Uh, I, I think that was tipped by DeCarlo, to be honest. I think that was a heck of a play. Great effort by DeCarlo to get in the way of Abdiel. And I think Abdiel's a little frustrated. I don't blame yep. him. Last seven seconds here. Shot clock is off. DiCarlo looking for an easy bucket. Out of way, it's gonna shoot. And he's not gonna even come close.
Oh, here we go. Fourth quarter action. Yep. Let's see. I've got I've got the Gales winning that quarter. No, I think 15-15. That's what I've got. Evened out. It did. Gales keep their uh, seven-point lead here. As we're going to the final frame, which we knew was going to be interesting in a packed house here at Clinton High School. Where are all the little kids going? They all go get the pizza? Probably. They're stealing it from us. Seriously. Sophie Allen. I get Jackson O'Brien with two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. I also have one fourteen. Lead in the Hawks. Then you have Attaways come alive in this half. Yep. I got Attaway down for nine. As do I, including two threes. Yep. And then uh, Marrera, he's got ten. All right, here we go. Oh, Abdiel. Uh, two hits foul on the way up. I believe that's going is going to be on loose again. It is his third. And I thought he was in the act of shooting, but apparently. Mike Natero is not happy with that call. He doesn't think that that was right. No. Uh, did the ref just issue a warning to the bench? Could be. But anyway, we got Abdiel at the line. Abdiel misses his first. Makes the second one, though. Good ball. Lose for three. No good. It's going to stay Hawks ball. That one in on Abiel last. Yeah, it could have gone either way. That was a yeah. tough call. Tough call to make from behind. Yep. DiCarlo. Oh, good pass by Luz. O'Brien to finish. That gives him 16. Again, the high-low in the yep. zone. Davis bringing it up. Swings it over to Abdiel. Owen has it now. Back to Abdiel. Abdiel's going to take a three. That was a laser beam of a three. Yeah, it was. Owen's going to drive in now. Finds Abdiel again. Abdiel's going to swing it to Matt. Still plenty of time again. Yep, 25 on the shot clock. Matt's calling the play out. Oh, he's running the baseline. Gets his, gets his pocket picked from behind. Attaway. Going to let that one roll out of bounds. Smart play. Yeah, Matt, he just kind of lost to the out of lane there for a brief time. Attaway, driving, passing, for three, no good. Frischi trying to get in the rebound, lose with another two. Another offensive rebound. Back to, offensive rebounds have been killing them all game. And they're gonna call that one Hudson's ball. Didn't really see who that one went off of. I think Davis just simply lost it. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I think he just lost the ball. DiCarlo bringing it up over half. Four-point lead for the Gales here. 6-10 left to play in the fourth. And it's it's crunch time here. O'Brien, tough layup, gets it to go. Gives him 18 on the night. Look back to a two-point game here, pal.
Davis is a nice little crossover there. You get Attaway off him, give him some space. Uh -uh. Goose is going to call a timeout over there. Yeah, we take a look at the uh, Jackson O'Brien underneath layup to cut this game to two. Oh, yeah. Just able to maneuver his body. The cheerleaders. What do we got for viewers? We're up to over 70 at one point. How are we doing? 90. Well, welcome everybody. From Hudson, Clinton, and Berlin, Boylston, anybody in between? Anybody watching over at the uh, Solomon Plan Mall? <laughs> We're here. We got a barn burner. We called it early. Yeah. Probably call it about 3.30 this oh, yeah. afternoon. 47-45. Gale's up to... They've got the ball coming out of a timeout. Yep. No surprise here, though, that this game is this close. I mean, we've been saying it all day. We said it with freshman JV. Those were both close games. JV, uh, JV won. They went into overtime earlier before this game, and now this game was looking like just more of a tight r race. They're going to call it a charge on Owen. That'll be his second. I, I, I don't know if he actually had possession. Yeah. Position, I should say, as I'm watching the replay. But Owen was kind of out of control, so. Out of way, running the floor, getting an easy way in. They're going to call out a charge. Davis takes one now. How about it? No, I think I think this was a makeup call. Yep. Because Davis, yeah, that was close. That was close. So that would be an offensive on Attaway, correct? Yep. That's his first foul of the game, too. Davis going down low for Abdiel. Abdiel trying to make a move on loose. Abdiel able to regain that rebound after the tip off of Frischi. Axel on the floor. On the floor. Should be on Arius. Yep. Number three. You are correct. John Kyle Arius. It's his first. Frischie in the corner, swings it to Abdiel, out to Owen. Davis, going up, Axel three. Uh, charge! Uh-oh, uh-oh. Caleb Lewis, that is foul number four for him and the Gales team is fired up right now bench players on the court yeah but let's make sure we keep composure though yep I think I have a feeling there was a technical call too and there was oh there totally was and because they flashed five fouls up on the scoreboard so I think Caleb got called for the for the offensive foul, then got called for the technical, so that's why Owen is at the line shooting right now. Yep, as he makes one. Makes another. Lewis will go take a seat. Marrero will come in. He is also at four fouls, so both big men for the Hawks are in foul trouble right now. They're going, uh, they're going man here. Yep. Davis, bringing it over. Swings down to Frischi down low. Frisch gonna try and take an advantage. Abdiel, double dribble. That's too bad because <laughs> they had the mismatch there yep. with uh, 
with DiCarlo and, and Fritter. Yep. Couldn't take advantage of it. Out of way. Looking for Ruiz. There he is. Now, now's not the time. You still gotta, gotta keep pedal to the metal here. Get out of pushing. Now's not the time yet to run clock. Axel. Oh, good rebound by Fishy right there. That's what they've needed all game. Davis able to steal it away from Attaway. Ah. Still Nothing to do doing after. He almost lost that ball. Davis is going in. Oh, look at that. Do we count that as an assist? Sure, we'll put it down. Oh, it? wow. Tipped off a freshy rate right to the hands of Ellen Brayno to hit a clutch three this late in the game. Attaway, he's taking a three. No good. Freshy with another rebound. Whoops, getting careless. Axel driving in. He's going to swing it out to Owen. Owen's going to pump fake. He's going right to the loop. Foul! Two shots. Who's it on? I think it's on three. Yep, three. It is. Arius. Arius he again. Got Fritter. Excuse me, because he got Owen as he was going through. Look at Owen right out coming alive in the fourth quarter when it matters most in a tight game like this. It's the first. I've got him for 18 with that free throw. Yep, I do as well. Only senior on this squad. 19 points for Owen Breidel right now. Including seven of eight from the line. Yep. Gales jump out to a nine point lead right now as Axel steals the ball again. Two on one, Eurostep. Gets it to go! <laughs> 11 point lead for the Gales here with 3.05 left to play in the fourth. <laughs> They're going to call that one on Owen. Yeah, Owen, I think, tried to sell it yeah. as we take a look at the uh, Euro by Axel to give the Gales an 11 point lead here. That is Owen's third. Yep. And it is the team seventh. So we've got O'Brien at the line for 101. Hits the first. O'Brien getting ready to take his second shot here. Misses the second shot. Abdiel right there. Um, Cam driving in, taking it to Carlo, using that size advantage. Owen Brightell for another three. Follows a shot, gets his own rebound, going to the hoop. Gets another layup. Owen Brightell, how do you do? I wish I had kept track of how many he had at halftime. I think it was only six. I'm going to say he's got about 14 in this oh, half wow. alone. Senior leadership. Oh, blocked by Axel. It's the second time he's blocked the three by Adelaide in this game. Using his athletic ability. So what are we going back to? Owens three, or Owens bucket rather. Is he? Nice drive, no one was there. Finger roll. And we got, I think it's timeout, Hudson. Yep, I think. So I got Owen Bradell down for 21 points, and like you said, he's definitely gonna have like at least 14 this quarter. Well, this half, this anyway. Half, this quarter, he's gotta be up to almost 10. Yeah, I, I, I'm willing to bet that too. I mean, he's hit, he's hit a couple of big threes, he's had a couple of, uh, couple, couple of nice uh, the free throws. Nice replay by Grace Alvarado. Well, it's been exciting. Yeah. 
And then uh, on the other side, Jackson O'Brien, number 11 for the Hawks. He's got 19. Jake Attaway's coming alive here. Yep. Three, six, seven, eight, nine for him in the second half. I believe all of them in the second half. Yeah. And then Ryan Marrera, who's gone cold here, four fouls. He's got 10. And Caleb Luce, their big guy down middle getting all the boards. He's taking a seat on the bench right now. Also in foul trouble as Davis hits first free throw. We apologize if it's Luz. It's Luz. It is Luz? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That'll be another foul. I believe that one's going to go on three. And, yeah. Arius, his Arius. third. Should be Owen Bridell shooting again. And shooting two this time because they're in the oh. double bonus now. As it's 22 points for number 22. Ooh. Double deuce. Yep. Make it 23. Jake Attaway. Maurice, three, good! Oh. Uh, quick, quick timeout. Yep. 2 6 up to play here in the fourth. 61 49 our score. Gale's ahead. And I do believe that's his last timeout. As in Hudson, Mike Nataro. I've got it down for five, and I think I just saw the table make the motion two for zero. So we'll see if that uh, comes into play here. Should we start giving hand signals to Paul Z, see if he can give us an answer? Well, there's been times where we've tried, too, from up here, and, and Mr. Russell and I have mentioned how we wish the officials, you know, they obviously have to go to the table oh, with yeah. the number. If they could turn around, give us the number, too, so we know exactly who got the foul. But that's all right. We figure it out. I think we're pretty close. I'm not going to lie to you. When, when we keep track up here. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Pressure. Oh, yeah. Axel easily getting that one over half. Careful not to go back court. Nice little spin move there. Oh, Attaway's gonna rip the ball. It's gonna be a jump ball, though. Yeah, kind of, he kind of got himself in trouble there. Hudson ball. Once he got into half court, yep. then, he, then there was like the third defender. You've got the half court plus the two guys who are coming over to set the trap. Yep. Then he lost his dribble. DeCarlo coming across. Attaway back to DeCarlo. DeCarlo to Attaway. Attaway driving over in the corner to Reese. Back to Attaway. Attaway's gonna take a three. He's gonna miss. Barrera, he's gonna miss as well, get blocked actually. Oh, another two from Barrera right there. He's got 12 now. Axel. Nice save by the official. Yep. <laughs> fast hands over there. He's throwing fast, fast hands at Ridgemont High. Yeah. Just throwing it back. Just throwing it back to his old, his old days. Yeah. Uh, and that's going to be on Arise again. That will be his fourth foul. So now three players in the Hawks in foul trouble. Axel makes his first. Misses his second. O'Brien, no good. That deal on the rebound. They're going with the full press. Oh, oh. Gets fouled on the way up. Wow. Some sequence that was. I, I, I don't even know where to talk. A lot of bodies just all over the floor. 24. 
Mariah, that will be his fifth foul of the game. And it looks like Max Person is going to check in for him after this first shot. Looks like we got a wet spot. Uh oh. Yep. How come Z didn't run out? <laughs> I mean, Kripe's sake, there was about four bodies on the floor in that yeah. wet spot. Yeah. It's probably that, just all that whole area right there. That's all sweat. Gill's bringing everybody back on defense. Minute 12 left. Yeah, it's your job, Z. Get on that. Shaking his head over here. Yeah, well, you know why? Because there's no stipend in it. <laughs> so Grady hitting them both. Whoops. Wow. DeColo for three. Yep. And O'Brien misses as well. As, wow, no call. It should be. They're going to call Hawks ball. Be, yeah, it should be red ball. That should be right. <laughs> 50 seconds left to play here in this fourth quarter of action. Lead is 12 for the Gales. It's going to be a foul. They'll send O'Brien to the line. Uh -huh. Believe that they got Owen Bridell. That'll be number four for him. 44 seconds left in the game. You pulling Owen with four fouls? I, I mean, I, you know, I was just sitting here thinking that. I mean... I let him stay in and play. I mean, at, at this point, it's going to be get your get your ball handlers yep. and get your free throw shooters in at this point in the game, you know? Owen is one of their best free throw shooters on the team, too. He's hit a couple of really close free throws tonight. I understand. O'Brien well, makes them both. He's had a heck of a game. Oh, yeah. Heck of a game for Jackson O'Brien here. Well, as Cam Grady gets hacked... They're going to call that one on Mikey DiCarlo. That'll be his first foul of the game. How crazy is that with yeah. 40 seconds left? And it sends Cam Grady to the line for two. Goose putting all the other Gales back deep. Cam Grady hits his first. Cam Grady, four for five from the line. Yeah. And oh, spoke this in. I did. I jinxed it. Sorry, Grady. That was my fault. Blame me. Out of way. Oh. On the floor. I believe so. On Axel. Yep. That'll be his first foul as well. Attaway makes the first. This is going to be a big win for the Gales. They hold on. I mean, because they lost to Tingsboro earlier. Yep. And so did Hudson. So this is going to be big for the uh, Ooh, for the league foul. standings. It's like two of uh, DeCarlo. His second. Sending Davis back to the line.
Davis misses his first. You are right, though. This would be a huge win for the Gales right here. Yeah, I mean, just overall, especially Davis for the league. Misses both. <laughs> O'Brien pushing the floor. And he's going to get another bucket. Matt, well, why not? I'm, I'm running out of room. Oh, yeah. Full court pass, and they're going to foul Grady. Probably on Attaway, I believe. Yep. That one's on Jake Attaway. Cam Grady with the line. It's his first. The second. Cam has eight. Yep. Is that a way? The comfortable two points. They're gonna foul. They're gonna foul Axel right now. Send him to the line. Girls are back. I had a feeling they must have won. They're all excited. Be a great night for Clinton High School. Yeah, we're gonna get an update here from the girls. Deep threes. Max Person hits a deep three, but it's a little too late for that one. Final score. Gale 67, Hudson 62, another barn burner, pal. Well, thanks for coming. Three in a row for us, too. Yeah, it was nice. Good win. Great game, great atmosphere. Let's hope everybody behaves themselves as they're going out the door. Yep. And uh, thanks, pal. Yeah, of course. And uh, I believe we've got uh, Tuesday next week. Does that yep. sound about right? We're up to 100 viewers. Wow, welcome. And uh, we'll see you next week. Have a good weekend, everybody.